Is the next Crash Bandicoot game release going to be a Wrath of Cortex remake? According to some sources, yes, but I have my doubts, so let's talk about it. Whoa! What's up guys, Canadian Guy here, and back with a, uh, well, interesting video. So as you know, there has been collective evidence coming together over the past few months that points towards a brand new Crash Bandicoot game in 2020. If you don't know, don't worry, we're going to be going over most of them today. So I had made a statement that I think Crash will probably come as a launch title for the next generation of consoles. However, last week, a bit of a bomb dropped. A really really awkward bomb dropped. A YouTuber by the name of The Gaming Revolution had come forward with apparent information on Twitter for future Activision projects. Now the reason why this has started to pick up traction is because this specific user has leaked many things before in regards of Call of Duty, like the newest Battle Royale mode, Warzone. Now the reason why this leak is picking up traction in the community is because obviously Activision not only owns Call of Duty, but also Crash and Spyro. A few articles have come forward from gaming journalists that source this person specifically. So recently, the gaming revolution came out with a tweet that has stunned many people around the Crash Bandicoot fanbase. Quote, some Activision games in the works. Tony Hawk Pro Skater Remastered. Call of Duty 2020, codenamed Project Zeus, Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, a free-to-play COD game from Sledgehammer Games, 2021 ETA, a PvP Crash Bandicoot game, and Crash Bandicoot The Wrath of Cortex Remastered. Hold, what? Hold the phone. A PvP Crash game, and The Wrath of Cortex. Seriously? This makes me greatly uncomfortable, and it just does not sound right at all. Yet another remake for Crash Bandicoot? Then, Motwera, a huge pillar in the Crash community, came forward with a comment that completely makes sense, saying, quote, Sounds like you've confused Wrath of Cortex remake for a completely new game inspired by some aspects from Wrath of Cortex. Viewer Anon mentioned some interesting details about it back then. Which then, Gaming Revolution had replied and doubled down on his original statement, saying, quote, Nope, they definitely meant that. I even asked for clarification. Great, 10 out of 10, another remake. But here's the thing. No matter the credibility of this leaker or YouTuber, I could not believe a word that was being said here. Before we even go down the path of another remake, let's quickly tackle this concept of a PvP crash game. Here's the thing. Gaming Revolution had also said that, quote, the Crash PvP game is still in its early days and is expected to release in 2021, although could change. It will also be available on console, PC, and mobile. So there's layers here. If the game is coming out in 2021, then that means that we would be getting four Crash games in a matter of five years with three titles back to back in a row through the years. You want to talk about Burnout? Also, what about Spyro? How does our Purple Dragon come into the mix? If Spyro was a 2022 release, that's a four year gap between the Spyro Reignited and the new Spyro game, which I don't think Activision would do right after literally reviving Spyro from the grave. The next layer to break down is the fact that it is a PvP game. Now, some people were scared and was thinking that Crash was about to don a sword and whoop some wumpa booty, but consider this, CTR is considered PvP, so maybe it's not so far-fetched to think that this could be a CTR sequel of sorts. But why is it that it's coming to PC, console, and mobile when there has not been a Crash or Spyro title that has come for all three areas of gaming since the resurrection of these new titles with the remasters? Again, a lot of this does not make sense. But let's tackle the big fish, The Wrath of Cortex Remastered. This is a doozy. My first question is, why? Why on the green of a wumpa would you ever consider remastering this train wreck of a game? Yes, it has its fans, I'm not one of them, and no, it's not the worst game, but it is in no way worthy of a remake done the same style of the Crash Insane and his original trilogy. Even if it were fixed, the name in itself would cause a nosedive in the market due to its bad reputation, and I think people are dying for a new Crash game. But people have been persistent on the fact 
that the gaming revolution has gotten many things right in the past and that we should listen to them. Well, here's the thing. I don't think they are purposely giving out bad info, but they are being fed bad information. The thing is, we can likely debunk this claim of the game being the Wrath of Cortex remaster by simply looking at what is already public. So let's take a look. Remember that PlayStation commercial where we had Crash in his cart in the parking garage? Well, he had not only Aku Aku following them, but the new mask as well. Now, this new mask is something completely different that we have never seen before in any other Crash game. Why would they just toss it in willy-nilly for no reason? Why would they create and model a new mask when it would not be used at all? So, it would seem that they are going to be using this mask in a future game. But here's the thing. Nothing in Wrath of Cortex even resembles what that mask is. It's something completely new. It honestly looks like Yzma from Emperor's New Groove. Pull the lever, crunk. Roll lever! Then, Toys for Bob, the spearhead studio for Spyro, who also runs as a support studio for Crash Bandicoot, accidentally leaked concept art for the next Crash game. Now, the argument can be made that these villains were redesigned for the Wrath of Cortex remaster. But here's the thing. Do you remember Embryo from Wrath of Cortex? Think really hard! Do you remember him? No. No, you don't. The reason why is because he never was in the Wrath of Cortex. In fact, this is his mutagen form, where he gets all big and scary. Why draw concept art and put it on the wall if you're not going to be using the character? Again, the same situation that the mask in the commercial had. But wait, there's more! There was quite an interesting leak that came out in November that came from two different sources, Viewer Anon and Sabi. Viewer Anon had leaked many release dates and even scripts from upcoming movies, so he has friends in higher places. And then there's Sabi, who has also leaked things in the past in the gaming industry. Now, you can doubt their credibility, but within an hour of each other, both had stated the same information about the new upcoming Crash game. They did not know each other beforehand, so it was definitely interesting. But the leak said, quote, Scooping a different industry, not only is a new Crash Bandicoot game coming, I've heard from someone I trust the whole thing revolves around masks with special abilities, and that there will be levels where you play as Cortex, also feeding into the mask that we saw in the PlayStation commercial. RE Cortex Levels Word is that the full story of crash levels, so if something blows up to block Crash's progress, the challenge level will be you as Cortex setting off that explosion. I trust the source I got the info from. Just had some things clarified for me. You can play as Crash or Coco. The gameplay is Naughty Dog-like, no open world, and the progression system was described as like Super Mario Bros. 3 slash world. Themed worlds with each individual levels in each. That's all I know. Now, when did you play as Cortex in the Wrath of, well, Cortex, hmm? Never? Huh, that's interesting. It's like as if this apparent leak is starting to get more holes in it. Now, there is a ton of other things that also shoots this concept of this being a Wrath of Cortex remaster. Like the fact that if this was true, Vicarious Visions would have been working on a game that is smaller in scope than the Insane Trilogy with more people and more time which makes no sense. The fact that Activision had already said that they wanted to innovate and create new experiences within the Crash and Spyro IPs. Okay, look, this is the point I want to make. Yes, the gaming revolution has gotten things right in the past, and this video is not attacking them or their work. I want to clarify that I am directly hitting the false info that they are being fed, not them or the content creator themselves. They are only reporting on what the source tells them. Now, is it entirely possible that this game draws inspiration from Wrath of Cortex? Absolutely. Could have this been something that was lost in translation as the information was passed around? Sure. In fact, take a look back at viewer Anon's post. There is multiple masks that grant multiple powers, which was something very similar to Wrath of Cortex with the different elemental masks. Crunch might end up being the bad guy at the end of the game again and be the secret weapon. Maybe we could even go and say this is the Wrath of Cortex Take 2, where they take similar concepts in terms of design and story, but make a new game. Again, it's entirely possible. But a remastered Wrath of Cortex, like one to one, that follows the likes of the Crash Insane and Spiral Reignited trilogies? No, I'm fairly certain it's not that. 
Now, of course, I could be wrong. Maybe I am. But I really don't think a Wrath of Cortex remaster is coming. I think that it's going to be an entirely new game from the ground up. But what do you guys think? Do you think the gaming revolution is right? If so, why? Comment below and let me know. A huge thank you to all those who support the channel through Patreon and being a sponsor on the channel. If you'd like to help it out, check out the links in the description below where you can buy some CGE merch or become a Patreon. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more gaming and nostalgic content. Thank you so much everyone and I'll see you guys in the next video.